the visor. That's right. Um, That's but right. yeah, please do, uh, you know, ex again, exclamation mark, donate. I think, you know, we're, we're so close to hitting that next goal. Mm -hmm. And I just think it'd be dope if we hit 50K. Uh, and of course, there's plenty more. This stream, I think, uh, is going to be going till midnight tonight, actually, because uh, a lot it's... Of, a yeah. lot of stuff uh, planned for, for the rest of the, the evening. Absolutely. We've got, yeah, we've got Melee, you know, for the rest of the top eight, but then there's also COD finals as well and a lot of other little, you know, content items. Uh, so it should, should be a lot of fun. I hope everybody's having a great time. Yeah. And right now, we get to continue the great times with Salt Falcon Ditto. Yes, dude. Two of the most stylish players in the game right now, starting off with a grab mm. right away. I imagine, OK, yeah, it says it on the bottom. Salt is black, and S2J will be playing the neutral Falcon here. That's right. That's right. Ooh, As a, oh, the sing oh, single hit in air? Single hit in air? Single hit in air, yeah, and the gentleman from Johnny. That's just going to be a, yeah, that's going to be KO. Uh, that knee, as long as you take their jump, you don't even need the hard knee because you can just combo the soft knee into the up air. This should be a KO though, okay. Salt went for the stomp. I think there were probably, you know, just simpler ways to take that, but Salt's gonna get the job done anyway. Historically, there this typically goes to S2J. They're, yeah, they played I mean, 17 sets according to PG stats. How many has Salt won? Salt has won two out of the 17. Oh, Salt, okay. I didn't know they'd, they've taken any. So, uh, that's okay. But the last, like, seven, Granted, all these are like training mode Tuesdays and whatnot have yeah, been yeah, yeah. in S2J's favor. Makes sense. But now we got in person. Ooh. And Salt yesterday showing how strong they are in the Falcon Ditto, taking 10 stocks in the crew battle. 10 stocks. Four off of uh, Spud, two, uh, four off Ginger, and then two off of None. Mm -hmm. Right? 10 stocks overall. They're sick. Oh, OK. Gets the tech chase here. I, oh. I mean, the tech chase just is good. In the in the Falcon Ditto, it feels like the tech chase is like the the right option in a lot of these situations, right? As long as they're not like sliding off, as oh, long yeah. as they're not. Oh yeah. You get the, a bigger payoff with the hard reads, you know, when going for stomp and whatnot. But sometimes well, the, the, thing about the, the tech consistency chase is, is nice. Yeah, you just keep it's it nice. going. I mean, nice. th that doesn't mean that you can't need them later. Exactly. You've just taken more percent, and then you <laughs> you get to potentially threaten it again. And I think the best part about tech chasing in the Falcon Ditto is that. Ooh. They 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 think to themselves, oh, my opponent's just trying to grab me again. Mm -hmm. Which means the tech options they choose are gonna be different. Mm -hmm. And then when you do go for that knee, they're gonna be less ready for it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gonna they're gonna pick options that try to mitigate the, the reaction tech chase, which means that, you know, maybe you just get that stomp or that knee or that side that side beer, that down smash, right? It strengthens the non grab tech chase options because they might not be expecting it. Right, exactly. If you've, if you've conditioned them to expect the grab, that's absolutely right. But I mean, let alone. S2J with a huge opening, by, or a huge game one, by the way. That was like a, a three stock, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. oh the wow, multi-jabs, the, the multi-jabs. Oh, uh, do it said anything you could do, I could do better. I can do anything better than you. And that first stock going to S2J, that off the back of a really, like, <laughs> really a uh, boxing esque That's jab right. interaction. I'll just I'll just go ahead and say it. That's right. Uh, ooh, avoiding the knee there as well. Great jump back. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa! How salt. did Salt get there so fast and lose the stock so fast? Uh, and also, S2J lost the stock really fast. Cool. <laughs> did all lose stocks very quickly? Yes. In a matter of seconds. Everybody, everybody was losing their stock. That showed not. Oh, looking for the double Randall. Jump that could have been really bad for Salt if the cloud wasn't there. Salt is pure of heart. That's, That's why right. the cloud appeared. That's right. You gotta have, you gotta have purity of heart to ride the Nimbus. But unfortunately, Johnny doesn't need the forces of nature to succeed. Johnny is a force of nature, by the way. That's right. Johnny's on the level of Randall. <laughs> <laughs> That's just he's just been around that long. Oh, and the cross up with the Nair getting on the other side of the shield to start that side B. Oh it's my the edge cancel. Edge cancel stomp coming back in with the pressure with the neutral air. How is S2J outspeeding? Salt right now. That's insane. Oh, the, did the shy guy extend the strong hitbox? That's right. Into salt. No. Oh, the Falco. And we've got the Falco counterpick frame one. That was the fastest. Hey. That was the fastest. But you know, the funny thing is, S2J himself, uh, no stranger to these Falco counterpicks. This used to be uh, a little bit of the S2J. I think it's a it's a Falcon thing, right? Oh, this character really beats my character. Let me just play. Oh, let me. Salt. Salt, also, by the way, Salt counterpicked Axe with Axe. Falco and, and took actually a, took a game. Yeah. Took a game. So. Took a game on Satan. A pretty, uh, pretty nice victory there. But unfortunately, the Mute City pick was just too strong. <laughs> That's right. That was right outside of top eight. 
And um, yeah, I mean, Ooh. S2J, definitely one of the Falcons who kind of wrote the book on the spacing matchups. Mm -hmm. A ridiculous player when it comes to fighting Falco. <gasps> okay, ball she shine there, but unfortunately that just means that Salt's gonna be missing that tech. Yeah, one missed tech will get, will, will be a uh, KO on Yoshi, right? Yeah. When you're like 60% as Falco, you're just done. But I think what's what's interesting about Salt is like, they actually kind of co like it's it's, Obviously, the sort of situation where Salt is mostly a Falcon player, mm -hmm. but if you've never seen or played against uh, Salt's spaces, the Fox and the Falco, I encourage you to go check out their uh, their Twitter page, where like Salt actually has some nasty Twitter clips with these characters, where you would see this, the kind of things that is uh, that that the Falco's done, and you go, oh my goodness, I, <laughs> oh! they look like a Falco main. That's right, straight up. And they know how to combo Falcon, I think, in particular, really well, which is why this counter pick is pretty solid. Oh, is it that kind of how it goes when you main a character? Mm -hmm. you, you know, know, you know what you know. your character wants, right? And so you can kind of counterplay that a little bit, right? But oh, not gonna get the KO here. Yeah, great Waveland there on Randall. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Actually. So Oh! Ah, oh, but just get barely clipped by that softy. But also, Randall came out, and I feel like Salt should have at least tried to up me, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. you're, you're probably going to get KO'd. But you might as well. I mean, you well. might as well make it harder for your opponent to just, like, <gasps> just put the onus on them to not mess up. But S2J not messing up at all right there. The stomp, that's going to be enough. Falco doesn't have enough distance on that up B. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to know what they're saying right now. <laughs> what a strong punish game. It's yeah. like an insane punish game from S2J there. Bro, S2J just S2J just cleans up those stocks sometimes, mm -hmm. man. Saw the ridiculous finish. Also triumphing over, uh, to even get into the top eight, uh, they triumphed over SD, SDJ. SDJ. Who I want to shout out, by the way, I just thought this was really funny and a little bit ironic. Um, SDJ with, the, honestly, the tournament of his life, right? SDJ beating this tournament. S fat. S fat, Ginger, and Spud. Mm -hmm. Like three like top twenty level threats. And then losing uh to Salt, who I think I think those two play frequently at locals. And SDJ actually hasn't dropped the set to Salt in three years. That's one of those. <laughs> yeah. So that that's to me, I just gotta say that's tough. That's tough. Imagine you you don't you, you beat three of the top twenty players in the world and you go, okay, to make it to the top eight, I just gotta beat the guy you know, be I, I just gotta beat somebody I beat in my locals all the time. I think it's actually interesting. I think there's something to be said about that where you might beat people um, a lot in like a local scene, but somehow it's a little bit different in like a it, nationals kind of level. That used you know, to it's just, happen it's a back thing. in the day it's with Silent Wolf and Blade Wise. It's definitely a thing. It's definitely yeah. a thing. Where I it know feels exactly like it's different. what you're talking about. It, it really feels different, right? The yeah, way. the vibe. For sure. And I think there's something said for the fact that, like, for Seoul, you know, they've been going to a lot more majors and just out of state tournaments in general uh, than SDJ. Uh, SDJ, I think, somebody who, like Palpa, has had incredible results, but just doesn't travel as much. And I think when it comes to these majors, that, that, experience that you get from traveling is going to give you just a little bit more of uh, a, a confidence. Of course, of course. And I think there's something there. I, I really do. Yeah, I got a shout out Texas as a region. <laughs> really, a strong, really strong, strong region. Very strong yeah. region. I was very impressed with all the play I've seen out of Porches over 